Hey guys, it's Gear, and uh, there's another level head update. Sorry that there are these like two uploads in a row. It's just that there are a few bugs in the last uh, 4.0 update that I wanted to fix, as well as add a few features that should have made it in but didn't. So you can see here right now my level custom level head message, which by the way should all go by, is proposed changes, right? And that's telling me that I should probably go do that, just as a friendly reminder for myself as recording. So you can go to your favorite browser, go to skier.club slash user. Now this is only if you have a custom level head message and you come in here uh, and you type in your new message. So let's say uh, dad mod, best mod. That's a good custom level head message because why not? And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna approve it ourselves. All right, there we go. Now if we go back, but that, that's not what we're really focusing on today. But if I do such level head, level head dump cache here, it'll say dad mod, best mod now. That's my custom level head message and everyone else will see it as this. But what is really fixed in this update, uh, by the way, uh, this thing is now uh, like up. It's no longer directly into your face. It's at the same height as other name tags. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why I messed that up, but it was 0.1 blocks lower. But if you type slash level head now for the GUI, you will see like quickly that it'll say disabled slash inactive, but then it'll turn to enabled because it checks with my website to see if I have a custom level head message, and I in fact do. So I have a few options here. I'm gonna set it to be RGB for both of them so that it looks like this. Uh, I don't know, let's say, let's do orange here and then for green, there we go, orange and what is pink? Is pink like that? All right, so we have orange and pink. So what I can do now is if I want my level head message to show with these exact colors for everyone, no matter what, I can click export for these colors to my custom level head and then it'll give me a link here that it'll then send to my website. I know it's gonna be a scary link, but it's just a lot of encoded data. So I'd accuse my website of notifications, and there we go. Uh, do such level head yourself. Uh, that's a typo, but it's okay. Um, so now, oops, if I go back to uh, Minecraft and I type such level head uh, dump cache, like this, it'll say uh, dad mod, best mod in those colors, but everyone else will also see that. So, but if I change these again, let's say uh, let's not change that value but let's say i want to make it kind of green and whatever this is going to be also green uh, sorry it's going to be blue and then green but if i do such level head dump cache like this it will still show me as pink because no matter what for my custom level head message everyone will always see it as pink so if you want your custom level head message to be like chroma or whatever uh then you can do that with this update now there's also there's also a lot of back end uh, core changes that were done for stability because people were having a lot of issues where it was like wasn't loading properly and all that. So I have addressed those and fixed them. And uh that should be it. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye. Happy holidays also. Uh Merry Christmas to everyone. Christmas was yesterday. Bye.